Hold on to your seats. Mr. Quick. I want you to meet Peter Panther, Gary Gorilla, and Ollie Ostrich. They're hot. They're happening. They're the hip hop, hop along Quigley Shoe Gang. Think of it. Spin off stuffed toys, records, movies, Saturday morning TV shows. It'll be bigger than Ninja Turtles. Well, I think it would die for an idea. Possibilities. I don't know. Mr. Quigley, these are the 90s. We're talking color, music, personality. Maybe, but I just have a feeling that the average kid... The average kid? Are you crazy? This will slay the average kid. Go find me an average kid. We'll ask him. How about him? Hmm? Him? You want to ask him? He looks average. Oh, no, you didn't let me finish. I mean, of course we should ask him. That's why we hired him, because he's average. Alan, what do you think of this campaign? Tell the truth, son. Would you buy a pair of my shoes if they had a picture of an ostrich named Dolly on them? To tell you the truth, sir, I don't think I would. What would make you buy a pair of my shoes, son? I guess if I'm going to drop a hundred bucks on a pair of shoes, I want to make sure they're going to stand up in action. I guess I'd want a shoe with performance power. Performance power, you see, I mean, that's ridiculous. I like that. No, you didn't let me finish. I mean, it's ridiculous that we didn't think of it sooner. McClafferty, I think we finally got something here. Uh. Alan, you didn't tell me you were a genius. I didn't know I was, sir. <laughs> well, Miss, where have you been? The mail's piling up down there. Alan and I... and I are going to lunch. But, sir, I've got a lot of work to do in the mail room. Not anymore. You are now my new executive youth consultant. Man, I could get used to this. Heaven. Pure heaven. Oh. HC double M's and first quarter publishers measurement bureau report, media measurement review analysis, and the 10 year per household financial projections for the Western Hemisphere, Europe, and most of Asia. Mr. McClafferty wants you to scan these and be familiar with them by lunchtime. So much for heaven. Good morning. Good morning. Uh, I'd watch the tubing if I were you. If any of that fluid leaks out, it'll eat right through your kitchen floor. Mom, where are the glasses? Well, they should be I right moved the glasses just up over the fridge. And where are my spices? Oh, I moved those up there. But that's where we keep the dishes. Uh, dishes down below. I took the liberty of rearranging your kitchen to maximize time management efficiency. The system saved me over 20 minutes last year. Uh, don't have to thank me. Mr. Clements, there's a strange man out here who insists on seeing you. Should I call security? Yo, dude, what's shaking? Uh, it's okay. He's an esteemed colleague of mine. Little present I made for you while I was waiting? Photocopy madness. Exactly what part of your anatomy is this? This is sweetness. How did you scan this? I don't know. One day I'm dreaming about it, and the next day it happened. Come here, I want to show you something. What do you see out there? A parking lot. No, 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 over there. Your bicycle. That's right, and it's in my parking space. Righteous. But what is it exactly that you do here? I don't know exactly. Well, I guess you just want me to think like a kid. Well, I do that, and all I get is detention. <sighs> Check this out. Hi. How can I help you, sir? Sir? <laughs> uh, how about a couple of cheeseburgers? Two shakes, two fries, and how about a couple of tickets to the game on Saturday? Yes, sir. Where do I apply? Sir, there's an emergency meeting on the Quigley Shoe account. McClafferty wants you there. Uh, sure thing. Uh, look, Kirk, you can stay here, but don't touch anything. Hey, Clements, your own fax machine. What's the area code for Sweden? Frankly, we're in trouble. Quigley Shoe sales have been 
sliding ever since we took over the account. Quigley wants youth appeal. Asked me to put a new man in charge of his account. I said yes. And that man is Alan Clements. Me, sir? That's right, Alan. Quigley wants you, and I want you. But, sir, I, I, I'm, I'm not so sure I'm the right guy. Maybe you should let some other... Other people? Like who, Alan? Well, sir, like Veronica. Did you know that she was an advertising major in college and has ideas for the Quigley? That's real interesting, Alan. Now, Quigley will be here at 9 sharp. God, I love this business. Dr. J, what do you think of this? Andrew, I'm trying to get some work done here. Quigley footwear, a sports shoe breakthrough. Clever, huh? Wonderful. Now, if you please, Kirk, where did you get that? I found it in the fridge. What? It happens to be mine. Mmm. It's mighty tasty. What is it? An experimental bacteria fungus culture. Mmm. Okay. Well, I'll be going now and disinfect my tongue. Don't worry, Kirk. It's harmless. It just means that I have to go out to the garage and grow another one. Man, living next door to that guy is a lot easier than living with him. He's not that bad, Aaron. Since he's been here, he's... Well, he's... Yeah, I guess he is that bad. Okay, I think it's time we had a little chat about our house pest. Guest. Freud, 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 Freud. Mom, Dr. J's a great guy, and I know he's our friend. But if I have to watch Nova one more time, I'm gonna rouse. Tell me about it. I caught him picking up my clothes from the floor. That's Mom's job. Uh, you know what I mean. Yeah, I do know what you mean. Look, he's just not used to us, and we're not used to him. And Lord knows what I'm gonna do with those 20 minutes he saved us. We can't just kick him out in the street. But there are plenty of good hotels around. Very reasonable. I called several of them. I'll break it to him tomorrow. I just don't know how I'm gonna tell our best friend we want him out. Mm -hmm.